Hello, this is Harlan. This will be the most important video you've ever seen in your whole life and in history. This has been a secret that's been hid for 400 years. So listen up and pay attention to what this video tells you. This is the irony that today the church would not let King James in their church. Ted Haggard had a church in Colorado and they found out that he was part of the LGBT community and they kicked him out. But they left the Bible there and this Bible was authorized by LGBT group and he is the one that they've covered up now for 400 years. And they call these people sinners above all. And it's ironic that they're the only ones that told the truth. The only Bible on planet Earth that tells the truth is the Queen James Bible. They tell you from the very beginning about the author. Well, you see, all of the Christians, they covered this up, you see. They covered it up. And they did not want it known, you see, about this. And... Uh, the president swears in on the Bible. And see, now that you know that it was authorized by Queen James and not King James, then you say, wow, he is a hypocrite. So you see, all churches now, people that carry a Bible, are hypocrites. They won't let King James in their church, but they use a book that was authorized by him. It wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for King James. And now Jesus' voice is being heard again. This is a covert operation. All of the people in colleges, the, the professors, the Catholic Church, they all knew this 100 years ago. But they won't tell the people on the street. You see, I'm telling you people on the street. This is the first video this has ever been on, or on anywhere. This is the first in history that tells the truth. And this is the truth. And they don't want the man on the street to know this because they control him with a Bible. They make you pay your tithes. They take you and they enslave you, put you in church, and they use you so you don't know the truth. See, none of you know this. But Jesus ordained me to tell this. And by his grace, through 44 years of telling this, I'm telling you this plain truth right now. You can see it on your screen. This is so many facts they cannot deny it now. Books has been written and everything's out. And all the professors knew it. Now, here's what some of the great leaders in the churches said. They said AIDS was given that it might wipe out these kind of people. They were saying that AIDS was because of their sins. Well, you're saying that King James should have been wiped out. He's the one that authorized your Bible. Can't you see the hypocrisy in this? You're saying that age should have killed King James. But he's Queen James. And you know it. And the, the preachers know it. It goes through seminar. But they can't tell it because they'll lose their jobs. And they'll lose a lot of money. Now, the Library of Scotland and of England has all these letters. People have written books on it. And it's over now. It's, uh, this enslavement of lie is now over this is being told and this truth is out and they want to really push this under the carpet but it's too late now it's all out and when you take a book that was authorized by a LGBT person and you say that they're bad but the book they authorized is all right well you see that's hypocrisy you can't do that you won't even let them in your church you will not. You kick, you kick Ted Haggard out of a church in Colorado. He had about 14,000 people. Run him out of the state. Won't even let him back in the state. But you preach out of a book that was authorized by his people. This is hypocrisy in the greatest manner. So, you see, <clears throat> Jesus' voice is now being heard. I have followed this trail of truth since uh, 1964. It'll be 50 years this spring. And God called me from a child to reveal this truth. 
Now, as you look at this, this is every bit truth. And you know it's true. And you know King James wasn't married with his wife. He was married between two of his lovers. And this is something that the people can't stand to face. They will not let the Queen James Bible in their church. And it's the only Bible on earth that tells the truth. It tells the plain truth. So this is it. This is the icing on the cake. You know the Bible is an idol. You know it's the mark of the beast. You know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is not New Testament. You know you can't answer when I ask you when did the New Testament begin. You know that Timothy lived under two covenants. One of them was the scriptures that was inspired. But then he lived under the Holy Ghost. And you can't answer none of those questions. And this one here you don't want to answer. Because you know it's true. And if you want to read any of the books, they'll be listed here for you to read the books and to look upon them. Now you know me, I've spoken many times and tried to convince people in many, many, many ways to do not be led by the Bible. It is an idol. God told me that in 1970. The Bible is an idol. And I told you and told you and told you with hundreds of videos, and I've preached in tents all across America and radio programs. I've been from Canada to Brazil and all across America and everywhere, and I've told it and told it and told it. But you won't listen. You want your Bible to be the Word of God. But it was authorized by a LGBT community. They, they belong to him. They claim him. That's part, they're part of him. See, it would be like a Baptist claiming that he's part of a Pentecostal church. Well, he's not Pentecostal. And these people here are not your uh, Bible worshipers that can't tell the truth. They tell the truth. They say Queen James. In their Bible, they write it up that Queen James is one of them. And this is what you have to understand. Because if you don't understand this, you're going to be a hypocrite. Now, anybody that carries a Bible in their hand, they're saying that I have a Bible that was authorized by the LGBT group, and I know it's authorized by him, and I'm saying that God used a sinner. You see, I'm saying that in your mind, now they're all sinners, and you're saying God used a sinner to give me a holy book. Now, how can that be? God would not use somebody that you said is not fit to sit on your church pews to give you a Bible. He authorized that Bible. You wouldn't have it if King ja Queen James had not have authorized it for you. Queen James authorized this Bible, and now you carry it around saying it's the Word of God. You think God would use someone that you hate that much that you won't even let in your church? You think God would let him authorize his Word? You go around saying this is the living Word of God, and it was authorized by Queen James. And you will not face this fact. Nobody won't even answer me when I tell them this. These professors in colleges are running and hiding now because they hid this from you for years. But God said his voice is going to be heard again, and he told me to tell you this, and I'm telling you this. You can check it out at the library, the National Library in uh, Scotland, or at the library in, in England. They got all the letters, and it's all uh, authenticated. So this is the truth. And the truth is finally coming out. Now, Bible worshipers will run and hide. And here's your library. Go there and check it out. They'll show them to you. This is him writing his lovers. And this is what they run Ted Haggard out of Colorado because of. And then they keep a book by the same people that Ted Haggard loves. So you see, this is hypocrisy in the highest degree. This is a secret that should have been told hundreds of years ago. But it wasn't because they liked their Bible. They build their church on the Bible. It's a flesh thing. And it gets more fleshly all the time. It gets more beastly all the time. It's the second beast. And he wrote this book. And this is the book in the angel's hand. And he's telling you, don't take this or you're going to be bitter. Now, a lot of you people are going to be bitter because you've taken this book. And now you can't hardly do nothing about it. But you have a book that was authorized by the LGBT co uh, committee and these to, uh, the only people, how ironic is that? They're the only people that tell the truth. These big preachers that you always counted on, all the leaders of the, of the church, all of them, they lied to you. You see, they lied to you. Now read this book right here by James Frank Bright. He'll tell you it's 100% certainty that he was gay. And so you have an authorized book by a gay person, and you cannot face this because... You say, oh, they're sinners. Well, they're the worst sinners in the world. They will, 
You won't even let the Queen James Bible be in your church, and it's the only one that tells the truth. How ironic. So I've wrestled with this now for 44 years this spring, and now this is the icing on the cake. All the proof is there, all of the details, all of the signs, everything you want to know is right here. And it's a homoerotic desires that is there in the letters, and they're there, and it's, it's a proven case. And you say in your preaching, a, a man sleeping with a man or a woman with a woman, that this is unseemingly and that this is a sin. And then you take the book that the same man that slept with a man and you say this is the word of God in your church. Now, can you see how hypocritical that is? You take what uh, uh, Queen James produced, authorized, and he authorized it because the Catholics wouldn't receive him. That's the only reason you got this book, because the Catholics didn't want him. They knew. And so he wrote this book so he'd have him a Bible. And now you got it. And now you're stuck with it. And you let a sinner authorize a book, and you say it's the Word of God. So you've got to face this. You see, even the University of Iowa knows this. But they won't tell you because they'll lose their job. <clears throat> and you write for one of their books, and they say, we're out of them. <laughs> they don't even want you to know it. I tell the truth. I don't have any allegiance with nobody but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my Lord. <clears throat> and I tell you the truth. I tell the common man the truth. The ones that walks on the street. The one that's been paying tithes to keep all these big fat hogs uh, alive up there in them big fat churches. And I tell you the truth. You're paying tithes to a, a person that authorized the book that you won't even let in your church. Now think about that. These are the only people that told the truth. And anytime somebody tells the truth, I'm going to stand up for the truth. Their Bible, the Queen James Bible, is the only, uh, only authorized Bible in, in my mind in the world. It's the only true Bible on this planet. There are no more. <clears throat> and so as you watch this and you're saying, wow, Harlan, this really puts me under my bed. And it will. It puts many, many of them on the run because they've been preaching the Word of God and saying that homosexuality was evil and they're taking a book that was authorized by one and then they say, hey, this is great. This is the Word of God. So you see, you've been tricked. You've been lied to. You are now <laughs> bitter. Your belly is bitter because you eat this book. It was not authorized by the Holy Ghost. It was not by the Word of God. It was not a Holy Ghost person that had this translated uh, into English. It was not. It was by a person that didn't like the Catholic Church because they condemned him. And he wrote up uh, his own Bible. So they, when you read the Queen James Bible, the, all of the King James translations in it, it's the same thing you got. But in the editorial page, they tell you the plain, basic truth. They will tell you the truth. I've been telling you the truth for 44 years about this. I've been run out of uh, my country. I've been run out of towns. I've run out of all the churches. They put me in jail. But see, I'm telling the truth. And you know I'm telling you the truth. You know this is the truth. And all you preachers now can go on and preach your Bible, but you'll always have it in the back of your head that this is a gay Bible. The Queen James Bible is the only truthful Bible on this planet. They tell you from the very beginning in the editorial, they'll tell you that the Bible is written by man, and that uh, he's not King James, he's Queen James, he's one of us. And they've been persecuted now all these years for this. But I'm on their side about the truth. I don't believe in their lifestyle, but they told the truth. They actually told you the truth. And they people today that said, I come to God through this Bible. Well, you come to God through a sinner. You come to God through the mark of the beast. You better repent in the Holy Ghost and get in the Holy Ghost because you will be doomed. You will be bitter. You have re eaten this letter from this second beast. Constantine's one got the first Bible up, and he is a sun god worshiper. Now, this man here is a known LGBT practitioner, and he ha you got all these lovers listed here. They're in the letters. Here's Westminster Abbey. You can go there and see. Why wasn't he buried with his wife? Most men wants to be buried with their wife. But he was buried with his wife. He considered them his wife because he was Queen James, you see. 
Now read this here at Westminster Abbey, and you will see most people try to deny this. I tell them, and they try to deny this truth. Here's the pictures of it. He's right there, and you can go over there and look at it. He's buried between two of his male lovers, Villiers on one side and Stuart on the other. That was his lovers, and it's in his letters. And so he put it on, on the um, tombstones and everything, how he loved them. He wanted them at his right hand and left hand. So now you've got a book that's authorized by this uh, LGBT operation, and you won't even let them in your churches. But you take their Bible in your church, and they're the ones that authorized it. And you will not face that. You will not tell people the truth. So from now on, take the Queen James Bible in your church, have the people read on the uh, editorial page, and it'll tell you the plain truth, just like I'm telling you the plain truth. Now, you're going to stand before God, and this truth is going to be there with you. This is the most powerful video that there's ever been in history. The Bible is the mark of the beast. The Bible is an idol.